Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 19. And Shaul spoke to El Yanathan, his son, and to all his servants, that they should kill Eth David. But Yahunathan, Shaul's son, delighted much in David. And Yahunathan told David, saying, Shaul, my father, seeks to kill you. Now, therefore, I pray you, take heed to yourself until the morning and abide in a secret place and hide yourself. And I will go out and stand beside my father in the field where you are, and I will commune with my father of you. And what I see, that I will tell you. And Yonathan spoke good of David unto El Shaul, his father, and said unto him, Let not the king sin against his servant, against David, because he has not sinned against you, and because his works have been to you word very good. For he did put Eth his life in his hand, and slew Eth the Pelishiti, and Yahuwah wrought a great salvation for all Yashedael. You saw it, and did rejoice. Wherefore then will you sin against innocent blood to slay Eth David without a cause? And Shaul hearkened unto the voice of Yahunathan, and Shaul swore, As Yahuwah lives, lives, he shall not be slain. And Yahunathan called David, and Yahunathan showed him Eth all those things. And Yahunathan brought Eth David to El Shaul, and he was in his presence as in times past. And there was war again, and David went out and fought with the Pelishitim and slew them with a great slaughter, and they fled from him. And the evil Ruach from Yahuwah was upon El Shaul as he sat in his house with his javelin in his hand. And David played with his hand, and Shaul sought to smite David, even to the wall with Eth the javelin, but he slipped away out of Shaul's presence, and he smote the javelin into the wall, and David fled and escaped that night. Shaul also sent messengers unto David's house to watch him and to slay him in the morning, and Michal, David's woman, told him, saying, If you save not eth your life tonight, tomorrow you shall be slain. So. Michal let Eth David down through a window, and he went and fled and escaped. And Michal took Eth an image and laid it in the bed, and put Eth a pillow of goat's hair for his bolster, and covered it with a cloth. And when Shaul sent messengers to take Eth David, she said, He is sick. And Shaul sent Eth the messengers again to see Eth David, saying, Bring him up to me in the bed, that I may slay him. And when the messengers were come in, behold, there was an image in the bed, with a pillow of goat's hair for his bolster. And Shaul said unto Michal, Why have you deceived me so, and sent away Eth my enemy, that he is escaped? And Michal answered El Shaul, He said unto me, Let me go, why should I kill you? So David fled and escaped, and came to El Shemuel to Ramah, and told him eth all that Shaul had done to him. And he and Shemuel, rather Shemuel, went and dwelt in Navith. And it was told Shaul, saying, Behold, David is at Navith in Ramah. And Shaul sent messengers to take eth David. And when they saw Eth the company of the prophets prophesying, and Shemuel standing as appointed over them, the Ruach Elohim was upon the messengers of Shaul, and they also prophesied. And when it was told Shaul, he sent other messengers, and they prophesied likewise. And Shaul sent messengers again the third time, and they prophesied also. Then went he also to Ramah, 
and came to a great well that is in Siku. And he asked and said, Where are Shemuel and David? And one said, Behold, they be at Navith in Ramah. And he went thither to Navith in Ramah. And the Ruach Elohim was upon him also. And he went on and prophesied until he came to Navith in Ramah. And he stripped off his clothes also and prophesied before Shemuel in like manner and lay down naked all that day and all that night. Wherefore they say, Is Shaul also among the prophets? <laughs>